All right, here's a short video, at least as short as I can make it, on how to do an antenna mod with the Cheerson CX-10. This will buy you, eh, I probably saw double the range on there, was having some dropouts and stuff, and I still could visually see it to fly. So I pulled the antenna out of the top, and I'll show you how to do that real quick. Also, with the controller, I pulled the antenna out of there also, and um, both of these mods here helped with, um, with the range. So let's get right to it. First of all, we'll work on getting uh, the uh, antenna out of uh, an old broke one, one I've got here. Just to pull these off really easy, just pinch and kind of pull. Don't You don't want to force it too much. Um, there we go. And some say you can use a pair of needle nose and just kind of just wedge it up from, from here and try and keep the motor from pulling the shaft. Uh, pulling the shaft out of the motor and I'm going to go ahead and bend that one that one's already been hammered pretty good so all right so we're down to this point here there's four screws underneath they're real small and it looks like we already have a cracked clip on this arm right here so I'll have another video to explain how to bind that with some uh, small sandwich tie wire and, and actually once you do that with the small sandwich sandwich wire tie, uh, wire you don't need these screws anymore as you can see on this one this one flies great and I don't have any screws in the bottom I've just bound all the arms so anyways and I apologize for the narration I'm not very good at speaking my mind properly, but so we're gonna want to pull these clips apart, and you just kind of want to get each one just loose. You don't want to wedge this out too quickly because you can risk breaking those. Although those are fairly simple to fix with the the wire mod. All right, so we've got the top loose. Let's see if that'll come straight out. And just slowly work it out and this motor here is going to need just a little bit of a push right there and there we are so real simple we're just right in the middle and as you can see this one does not have an antenna this is the blue board so right, this well, particular board doesn't have an external antenna like like uh, this one here but that's how you take it apart real quick and then what you would do once you get it tore apart over you simply drill out the center There you have it. And then you just pull that antenna out the center. All right, so putting this back together again, we didn't have an antenna. This is the blue board. So there's three boards. There's a green, a red, and a blue. Uh, I believe the red is uh, is capable of binding with uh, the Devo uh, Deviation Series controllers. Uh, the green is not. I don't know of anything it binds with. And, and it, the green has an ex, ex, uh, external antenna. But the blue board, and I'm not really able to locate it, but there's there's a PCB antenna on there. But anyways, we use this still to show you how to pull the antenna out so that it looks like this. We've drilled the hole in the center, and as you can see, the antenna just comes right out. Again, it's coiled right under there, and as you can see, there's not much room to coil it. So it's a pretty tight coil, which is really going to affect your range. So I'll just keep that in the picture so you can see what it looks like. But anyways, put it back together, real simple, depending if you still have your clips. You're going to want to make sure it's center, make sure the motors. And another thing you can do while you're at this point is double check these wires. And you'll see that uh, they get out of place here when they manufacture them and they pinched. They get pinched. So you just want to kind of pull the motor out a little bit. Put that wire back in the groove. There's a groove right along this back side here. It's kind of hard to see, but it's on this back side of this post right here. And you want to push both of those wires and make sure they're down there and then gently push the motor back in. And you'll want to do that, see, they get them all over the place here. And I've had the wires actually come apart um, with just uh, regular bumping around and wrecking. So you want to get those all centered and back into there so that it looks like this one here. This one's broke, so I'm not gonna go through and do all of them. But anyways, you saw how he did that. Just kind of slide it out and push those wires back in. All right, so putting this back together, once you're done with that, pretty simple. Just make sure those are snapped in place. 
That one snapped. This one doesn't have one. We're going to bind that and show you how to bind it with wire in a later video. Anyways, then we'll put our screws back in. Again, do not over tighten these, these screws. They're so small and you can strip out the uh, receiving threads on there. So you just want to tighten it down till you get a little resistance. Let's use this screwdriver. Easier. And I got just uh, almost there. Just a little bit of resistance. That's all you're looking for. And again, if these do strip these out, you can put super glue back into the, uh, the receiving threads. I I prefer just to bind mine together. I, I beat them up pretty good. So I just bind them with the wire. And then you don't really you don't need the screws. The board's pretty pretty solid in there. It doesn't vibrate once it's bound at each of these these arms. So and again, don't over tighten. You'll strip them out. There we go. Just go till you feel a little bit of resistance, and that's it. So there you are. Okay, so on to the controller. First of all, make sure there's no batteries in it. And then we're going to remove the two screws. All right, and gently pull that apart. You're gonna see that there's an attachment here for the batteries, a wire attachment. And then we can also pull these off just to give ourselves a little bit more room. And then you're going to have uh, two screws in here that hold the board in place. You're going to want to unscrew that. And gently. And then you're going to, the switches are going to kind of you want to kind of that switch right there just leave it right there in fact we'll pull it up instead and put it down and then it should fall right out and then you're going to have your your two trim switches fall out too now this one here does have an external antenna so it's right here so what we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole just right in the top right above it so if you can see right there small drill bit doesn't take a whole lot and then we're going to put this back together and uh, we're not going to get all the wire out but it's still going to be enough to increase the range um, so let's put this together I like to put and then these are I believe these are keyed yep they're keyed so you want to get them in the right direction when you put them back in there's just a slight angle on the short edges so you want to make sure that you get them in the right direction and you're going to take your board, be careful not to, to cause any trouble with the wire for the battery. And you slide that antenna, as you can see I'm pushing the antenna right through that hole. Make sure that our trims, switches are in place and then you're going to have two keyed holes here for the board to sit in. One on each side, you're just going to kind of move it around until it pushes back in. Make sure these are still good. And then let's put our screws back in to, to hold the board in place. And it was these smaller ones. Stop. So there's one. Don't over tighten them, it's just plastic. Usually easier if you've got a magnetic screwdriver. Just to set it on the end. And I'm nervous. Alright. And there we are. Okay, make sure we get 
full extension out of that. Try and pull it all the way out. Not too much force. That's about all it's going to come out. Put our power switch back in place. And then put the case back together. We'll wind that in place so the wires aren't going to be pinched. And we are pinched. There we go. And again, do not over tighten. It's just plastic, you'll strip it out. But if you do over tighten it, it's fairly easy. You can put a dab of super glue in there and let it set up. You might have to drill a little bit, and then that'll let you retap those screws in. Okay. So there's the controller with the antenna extended. Now when these antennas are wrapped up into a ball, the radiation pattern is really muffled, causes uh, range issues. So for short distances it works, but uh, these things move pretty quick and they can go out of range pretty quick. So to avoid dropouts, it's best to do this. Our, the antenna mod, again, this one doesn't have an external antenna, it's on the board, but this is what it looks like when you're finished. Uh, you get your antenna uh, coming out there. And then uh, this is the one that matches this one here. And then this is the one we just did here, so that you can see how that looks. And then this allows you to, depending on how you fly, if you fly with it up, you can just bend that up, get a little better reception. If you fly like this, or when you're with this one here, I like to pinch and hold it just down a little bit so I can just keep the antenna like that. So, anyways, there you are, antenna mod.